But every person has his own idea about Canada. Now here's a chap who may give us a very different impression. I certainly do know Canada well. So take a tip from me. If you want to get to know Canada, set yourself up at Jasper Park Lodge in the Canadian Rockies and get yourself out to Moline Lake, where they got some of the finest speckled trout you ever set eyes on. If it's Kamloops trout you're after, go over to the other side of the mountains to Amethyst Lake in the Tonquin Valley. Both of these places are only a good bait catch from British Columbia, where the scenery is something out of this world. If you're ever down Ontario Way, take a run over to Menaki Lodge at the north end of Lake of the Woods. All the comforts of home. They've got swimming, surfboarding, golf, and all that stuff. You can do anything you want to there. I went fishing. Look out for tiger muskies, tomogamy for pike and lake trout, Nipigon and Algonquin Park for speckles. All wonderful fishing country. And here's one thing I've learned not to do. In the bush, I am a guy who believes in signs. Quebec is a lot like Ontario. I ran into a fine bunch of fellows up there at the Lake St. John country. Canadian people are okay. I should have mentioned that before. They always know where the best fishing is, never get lost, fine characters. You make great friends fishing, and I hated to leave, but I had a date with a salmon on the Tobique down in New Brunswick. Newfoundland is hooked up with Canada, so I took a run over there. Got myself a spot of fishing in the serpentine. In Nova Scotia, on the way back, I went out with the fellows who harpoon swordfish.
Someday I'm going to take a crack at those babies with a rod and reel. But I had a good fight with some babies of my own off Wedgeport, where I got in on the annual tuna fishing tournament. I think I know Canada all right. Fact is, I'd spend the rest of my life there if I had my wish. If he had his fish, he means. There's another impression, but I know an expert on this subject in Omaha. Let's hear what he has to say. I sure know Canada well. They always ask me about it in geography class because I've been there. I've seen it. Those other poor kids have to memorize all this kind of stuff. The heavy rain on the western slopes of the mountains of British Columbia gives this province more forest of softwood than can be found in any other part of the British family of nations. That's quite a line, but gee, I can smell the wood and hear those trees crashing down. logs I saw. In spring, when the ice melts, the logs float down the streams to the pulp mills. What do I mean, float down the river? It isn't that easy. Those little old logs keep getting into jams, and they have to blast them. Shucks, that stuff isn't Canada. Why don't these guys who write geography books and history books go and see the place once in a while? Let me tell you what I saw. I bet you don't know that the Mounties ride more boats now than horses. Did you ever see an Eskimo? I did. I saw some at Churchill and they had real husky dogs. At a church in Nepal, I read some Indian language. I bet you can't pronounce it. And it's from the Bible, too. Boy, you should see their railway engines. Wow, are they big! Gee, the people up there sure have a good time. Why, out in Jasper, they even go on picnics for breakfast. In Canada, they don't bother about winter. They think it's fun. Do those Canadians know how to put on a parade? Those Canadian cowboys are super. The book doesn't even mention the Toronto Exhibition. Those guys sure missed a lot. I'd like to write one of those books myself and tell what Canada is really like.
young friend has very definite ideas about the kind of place Canada is. But here's a man that's a little more critical. There are many Canadas. You can't put your finger on one place and say, this is Canada. But I can tell by the curve of a hill which province I'm in. I can tell by the roll of the surf which coast I'm on. Some people think Newfoundland is bleak, but it isn't to me. Look closer. See what color there is in it. The warmth of the deep bays, the warmth of the people themselves gets into every scene. Island province provides a complete contrast. Prince Edward Island is small and neat. You can't paint Prince Edward Island without showing red soil and silver birches. The south shore of Nova Scotia has endless possibilities. A constant inspiration and despair to a painter. There are some scenes so colorful that no one would believe them on canvas. New Brunswick has the warm light and the intimate feeling common to the Maritimes. But the valleys are wider and the line of the hills is stronger. Northward, the hill formations grow even more rugged and sweeping until they achieve the grandeur of the Gaspé Peninsula in Quebec. Lombardy poplars and old farmhouses of Quebec are things of sheer delight. And in winter, no artist can pass up the Quebec countryside. Ontario has many landscapes. The rich southern farmland with its elms and its slow hills. The sheltered fertility of the Niagara Peninsula. lands to the north, the naked rock of the mining country, and there's no mistaking Manitoba or the grain fields of Saskatchewan. The grasslands of Alberta and a prairie sunset has no rival anywhere. The magnificence of the Canadian Rockies and Jasper National Park literally takes your breath away. Mount Robson in British Columbia presents a new picture from every side and with every change of light.
along the rail line between Mount Robson and Prince Rupert, there are a number of spectacular things. At the Indian village of Kitwanga, there is the finest collection of totem poles in the world. Prince Rupert is on an island, and the surrounding mountains and the picturesque fishing fleet offer unlimited opportunity to the artist. From either Prince Rupert or Vancouver, you see an entirely different Canada, sailing through the famous inside passage to Alaska. in the Yukon, or take a steamer down north to Dawson City, you're at the gateway to the Great Northwest, which has a wild, strange beauty of its own. This, then, is Canada. Each of these impressions is different, and each is right. But on one thing, all who come to Canada agree. This is Canadian hospitality. As our fishing friend said, Canadians are OK. Pay them a visit sometime they'll make you feel at home. <laughs> 